Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got an unboxing. We've got the PackVac Velo Machine, which is a battery operated backpack vacuum. So we're going to be unboxing it, putting it through its paces on some trials and seeing how it performs overall. So let's jump in. So I want to say a quick thank you to the guys at Foremost Pro Limited who sent this for us to trial today on our channel. So thank you to these guys. Let's jump in and have a look at the machine. So we've got our extendable vacuum pole, which is obviously for the foot. We'll put that together shortly. Like a luxury pair of shoes, here is our own dust bag, which is nice to see. A nice compact unit, nice firm straps, lots of support. Let's see what else we've got in the box. So we've got some of our accessories here. Crevice tool, skirting board and high level brush. This must be extra support belts for when it goes around your waist. Puzzle. Again, this is for our foot tool, which we'll put together shortly. Our sealed vacuum bags, which go inside the unit to capture all the dust and dirt. Our connection hose, the all important foot tool, which we have here. Feels like a good, good quality. I can only imagine that's to keep the hose nice and controlled and safe. We have our two lithium batteries. And last but not least, I imagine this must be our battery charger. Just in case you're European, we've got a European lead. We also have UK power cable. And here is our battery charger. Big unit for such small batteries, but let's get it on charge, put it together and see what it can do. Let's turn it on. Well, I mean the charging unit itself sounds like a spaceship just about to, um, to take off and it is a, an exceptionally big unit, but um, let's see how we get on with it. What was in it? Right, let's put this together, eh? Oh dear. Technical capabilities don't look great here, Jack. I've cracked it. We've cracked it. So this, so screw that in. That should just now clip in. This one then goes into the nozzle here. I want to put that across my beautiful face. This one moves into here, like so. And then we have the extendable nozzle, which then goes into our foot tool. And there we have it, the unit's together. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Can't complain about how hard it was to put together. Um, so let's give it a test and see what it can do. So we've put the unit together, we've given it a build. It was okay to build, it took us around 10 to 15 minutes for the unit. Does that come off? To screw the top on, put the bag in. One thing I did notice, the bag is incredibly small. It has a 2.5 litre capacity compared to a standard commercial tub vac, which holds up to nine litres. Now that could be an issue on larger commercial cleaning contracts. One of the key to setups of backpack vacuums is the fit to make sure it's nice and high on your back. It's nice and tight. It does also have waist support if you wish to do so as an extra, but for the purpose of today, we've just set it up with the chest strap and the shoulder straps. It feels relatively light, especially without the batteries. Um, I'd be comfortable wearing this for half hour, 40 minutes plus. In terms of the feel, the tube where it's made of plastic and not maybe the standard aluminium that we're used to feels nice and light, although it doesn't feel 
that durable in your hands, but that might just be because we're used to using the aluminium ones that come with most standard top packs. So we're going to be using some flour and some rice. We're gonna put that on the carpet, give it a test and see how it does. So let's get going. Oh, is that a bit much? We'll find out in a minute. We're gonna put some flour down now. Conveniently, it's actually snowing outside for real. So we'll bring some of that inside, spread it on, get knocked out by the machine. Spread it on the carpet. There we go, bloody hell. I hope this cleans up well. Let's have the carpet's clean now. So, let's turn the machine on and see how well the pack back Velo performs. The on button is on the side somewhere. Here we go. That's done quite well, didn't it? So, flour, rice, overall the performance was very good. Very good on both, picked it up nice and easy. The rice is a bit of a different test because it's quite lumpy and uh, doesn't go up the vacuum as easy, but it performed well on both, I'm quite reasonably impressed. So how does the Pack Pack Velo compare to other units? Out of five stars today, I'm going to give this unit four stars. The only limiting factors, as mentioned, is its capacity and its price point. But apart from that, a fantastic unit, very well built, very efficient, and a good one to consider when looking at your commercial vacuums. So that concludes today's video, guys, and our review of the Pack Pack Velo. If there's any equipment you guys would like to see us review on the channel, then please do let me know in the comments below or by direct message. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button for weekly cleaning related content. That's it for today, guys. I'm Chris. This is the Pack Pack Velo, and that's it for today. See you on the next one.